Hi there, my name is Joey and I'm here to show you how to use this yoga sequence builder activity to create your very own yoga sequence. I'm going to walk you through how to use this document by creating a very popular yoga sequence, Sun Salutation A. Okay, first things first, go to the yoga sequence builder template slide. For you, that would be slide three in this Google Slides document. I'll be working on slide two to create Sun Salutation A so that you can have an example of a completed sequence to compare your work to. The first thing I like to do when creating a yoga sequence is to set an intention. Think of this as the purpose of your sequence or how it can help people. This can be anything from developing strength to improving flexibility to helping people relax and unwind. Whatever you wanna roll with, roll with that. When you've decided what your sequence's intention will be, write it down in the intention box. Next, try to come up with a cool name for your sequence. Feel free to have some fun here, but make sure the name you choose is appropriate as you may want to share the sequence with others later on. Finally, let others know whether or not your sequence needs to be repeated. This can happen when you select poses that focus on one side of the body. For example, the warrior poses involve a lunging action where the front knee is bent. If you want to promote balance in your sequence, then you would want people to repeat that sequence twice so that each leg gets a turn being the working leg that lunges. If you feel that the sequence should be repeated, let others know by writing yes in this box. If not, just set it as no. All right, we're ready to start building our yoga sequences. For this activity, you can create a sequence that includes up to 12 steps. It doesn't have to be 12 exactly, but you do wanna make sure that it's not too short either. Once you've decided what the first pose of your sequence will be, write its name down in the space provided beneath the first pose square. From there, you'll want to include an image that represents the pose. This will help others who may not be such experienced yogis as yourself make sense of each pose and better understand your sequence. To include these images, you have a few options. First off, you can jump to the next slide in which you'll find digital prompt cards for each of the poses you explored in class. If you see the one you need, select the image and then choose copy. From there, go back to your yoga sequence builder and paste the image. There are a couple different ways of copy pasting in Google Slides, so choose the option you're most comfortable with. Once the image is pasted into your yoga sequence builder, drag it over to where it belongs in your sequence. If you'll be revisiting this pose a couple times in your sequence, just copy and paste it from here and place the pasted image wherever it belongs. You can also take an image of yourself performing a pose that you can include in your sequence. This can be great if there's a pose you know of that is not included in the prompt cards. Also, it's just a fun way to add some personal flair to your yoga sequence builder. To add an image of yourself to your sequence, right click the replace me tile where the pose belongs. From there, select replace image and then choose camera. This will launch Google Slides camera viewer. Set yourself far enough back so that you can see your full body in the viewer. Once you're ready and in your pose, ask a friend or family member to hit the capture button to take the photo. Once the photo is taken, decide whether or not it's the right shot for your yoga sequence builder. If you feel that you have the right shot, click replace and the photo will be inserted into your sequence. Don't forget to include the pose's name underneath your awesome photo. So another option is to use a photo that's already on your computer. To do this, right click the replace me tile where the pose belongs. From there, select replace image and then choose upload from computer. When prompted, select the image you want to upload and the photo will be inserted into your sequence. Finally, your last option is to use an image from the internet. There are two ways of doing this. The first is to right click the replace me tile where your pose belongs. From there, select replace image and then choose search the web. From the Google image search window that opens up, type in the name of the pose you're looking for. If you see an image that looks like it could be a good fit, select it and then click replace. The photo will be inserted into your sequence. The other option is to insert an image from the internet using that image's URL. To do this, open a new tab in your browser and go to Google search. From images, search for the pose that you're looking for. If you see an image that would be a good fit, click on that image to expand it. 
Once it's expanded, right click the image and select copy image address. Now go back to your yoga sequence builder. Right click the replace me tile where the pose belongs. From there, select replace image and then choose by URL. Paste the URL of the image that you copied to your clipboard and then click replace. The photo will be inserted right into your sequence. I hope you have fun building your awesome yoga sequence. Feel free to come back to this video should you ever need to review any of these instructions. Happy learning and namaste.